with, with Mike Tyson back then. Well, we come from the same piece of cloth. He went in prison. I was in prison. So we have, he's, he, he was a Muslim. We went to Juma prayer together, you know. And I, like I say, I'm not a go to along to get along. If I feel like something ain't supposed to be done, I'm going to say it. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. So let it go. Wow. Man, you being in California, man, you know, uh, it's a lot of lot of scenarios out there. We just interviewed Kenya Ware, and she was telling us about the night when uh, um, Tupac got killed, and, mm-hmm. and she was in uh, Vegas, and she was yeah, talking was to us right before yeah. that. Yeah. Uh, you was in Vegas that night? Yeah. So a lot of people say that Suge had something to do with it. Wow. I'm just telling lot, you. Yeah, even being in the car. That's that's a scenario set up, but you say, well, ha, you been to Vegas? Yes, a lot mm-hmm. of times. Uh, and on fight night at a Mike Tyson fight, Las Vegas Boulevard is packed. Right. Bumper to bumper. You got a trail car, you got police in the car, and you got another car. California, gang Vegas, we territorial. We don't know your turf. Yeah. So you think that somebody with no formal uh, ground technique can come in in front of traffic, make a U-turn in front of these cars, where did you go on top of the curve and run over the pedestrians and shoot in the car and nobody got the license plate? Mm. How'd that sound? Wow. You was I never thought about it. You was there. You was you was there in in Vegas. Were you working with Mike Tyson then? You was so what? How, how did you end up in that relationship with Mike Tyson? As far as one of the other brothers, Low had got Can and and Captain Shahid Muhammad put me on that detail. You know, one of the best details I ever had. Mike is a genuine. I mean, he's one of the best people you could ever have. Why do you say that? He's a giver. He's, he's a dude, the persona that you see around regular people, man, he would give you anything you need. He'd come over to my mother's house and sleep on the couch. So he would come to your mother's house? Yeah. And so what would, you, what would conversations be like with, with Mike Tyson back then? Well, we come from the same piece of cloth. He went in prison. I was in prison. So we have, he's, he, he was a Muslim. We went to Juma prayer together, you know, and... Uh, like I say, I'm not a go to along to get along. If I feel like something ain't supposed to be done, I'm going to say it. Like, bro, this is not, this is not a good look. Mm-hmm. Everybody else going to do what you want to do because you paying the tab. That don't work with me. Else you don't need me. But Mike Tyson don't need no bodyguard. He, he can beat know. up every and anybody yeah, that comes his way. He's got to put himself, because I can knock you out. Oh, you sue me, what you going to get? Some parole? <laughs> Mike said, "Hit you, he was gonna sue him." Huh? Mm-hmm. You seen him when they, he had fired on the airplane on the, on the airport? Yeah, yeah so he, he should have had you right by his side when right, that happened. Yeah, I blew that I, behind the situation. I talked about getting my house burglarized. Wow! And, and I went to the feds for a year. Mm-hmm. Man, so do you think you like uh, Mike Tyson? He got a new show, a podcast that he's doing, man, mm-hmm. and he he went off on Boosie on there. Uh, well, he he didn't went out. He he didn't said stern things to a lot of people on there. Is way. that right? Oh, no, yeah. he got a podcast. He got a podcast, yeah. and he's doing his thing on there too. Yeah, yeah. I, I'm you, getting ready to get him on when I do this Pots Grove Farms podcast. Hey, all he do is smoke on there all yeah. day. That's yeah. all he, he would do. Love your podcast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101.